Hi, I'm Hi. Scott Leppert. I'm the co-founder of uh, Trova, and we're here at CES debuting our uh, flagship product, which is Trova Home. But before I get to that, maybe I'll just show you our um, product that we're already shipping to our customers, which is Trova Go Plus and Trova Go, these two sizes right here of uh, our personal smart biometric safes. So this is where um, I could uh, uh, hide my Patek Philippe. I'm joking, I don't have one, but let's say yeah, uh, somebody exactly. has like a valuable little thing, uh, maybe credit cards or something, and then it's locked. Yep, yeah, so I'll just show you real quick, demonstrate here. So it's uh, app enabled, so I'll just open up our app here, make sure that we're paired, just click face recognize, Oop, and I missed it, hold on, there you go. And it's opened up. And um, what would you have inside? Well, we found from our consumers that uh, really this is a, a product that is used to exercise privacy or give our customers privacy and peace of mind and to exercise discretion. So we find that they put uh, really three classes of things in uh, Trova Go. So uh, and it's about evenly split across those three. So it's either prescription medications that they want to keep safe and secure from uh, other people in their lives, coworkers, kids, that kind of thing. Uh, recreationally legal drugs like marijuana that they also want to keep away from from people and uh, don't want to have accidentally ingested. Uh, and then thirdly, valuables, cash, money, jewelry, all those types of things. Probably the best security feature of Trova is that it doesn't look like it holds anything. You know, it doesn't doesn't particularly resemble that it's a lockbox. It looked maybe a little bit more like a hard drive or a battery pack. Uh, so really, the only person who knows there's anything inside of it is uh, the person who actually puts something inside of it. You could put a little uh, SSD drive in there with the oh, yeah. special info. Yep. Yeah. All kinds of things like that. Uh, SD and then cards Trova. also. Yeah. SD cards, anything. You know, we, what, we, what we decided if, when we started, my wife and I are co-founders in this. And when we started socializing this concept out there and, and listening to our consumers, what we decided is that we really didn't want to dictate what people put inside of it. You know, what privacy uh, means to one person is different to the next and, and what people feel like they need to exercise discretion around. If you have kids, for example, is completely different than if you don't have kids. Um, and we found that our customers are, are uh, about 60% parents, but the people that aren't parents uh, have valuables and things that they want to store in there. And it gives them that, again, that little bit of extra added security. Um, and then here is uh, Trova Home, which is much larger, uh, similar design cues. Hopefully you can see that decently in the camera there. So similar design cues on the lid um, and a couple of internal USBs, uh, two locking mechanisms and uh, a, now a, uh, a friction hinge. Nice. And uh, is it uh, uh, um, I, like, can people force it open or is it really hard to open? yeah that, so it, it depends on the on the product obviously the the size of the lock that fits into trova go is relatively small um and can somebody break into this certainly like people can a, a trained thief can break into basically any lock box on the market in less than a minute unless it's a fifty thousand dollar safe in your wall and maybe it takes them five minutes they can still get into that though um, so this, you know, this can be broken into, but again, why would somebody, it doesn't look like it holds anything. And um, that's kind of the goal. Trova home actually can be bolted down to whatever surface you have it sitting on. It can also be Kensington locked if you want to have it not so permanently bolted in place. Um, and it's definitely a lot harder to break into, um, but with a sledgehammer, it's, it's made out of aluminum um, and uh, it can certainly be broken into at some point. It's not going to be easy, um, but it's also not impossible. So uh, it's, it's, it's a good uh, tool for all the people that have small kids that might be playing around with everything and they don't want them to play around with everything. Yeah, exactly. I, on Trova Home, we have, uh, again, we really focus on daily use items. This is about convenience and privacy. Um, and so we want people to be able to get into it quickly. We want it to be out in their life. That's why we designed it as an object that looks like an interior design object that would sit nicely in any nice high-end home. Um, it's not meant to be stuffed into a closet and put away and, and accessed once a month. Um, on Trova Home, one of the other use cases in the bedroom is either around adult intimacy objects, which, you know, maybe you don't want your kids to accidentally stumble on or your in-laws for that matter, or your cleaning people, um, as well as personal protection items like mace and things like that that you might want to keep next to your bed for that extra sense of security. Um, and for that use case, we added NFC to it this year so that you can tap to open uh, your Trova and get into it really quickly with your phone.
You don't have a remote opening solution with a little music that plays or something like a little, uh, you got a surprise or something? Yeah, we, we do actually have a, so on Trova Home, there is Wi-Fi connectivity and there is remote opening uh, capability. No, no music built into it though. All right. Good question. All right. Uh, so what's kind of price? Uh, where can people uh, we are, buy them? Yeah, we are a premium end of the market here. So this is a fully CNC machined aluminum uh, product that that carries a really precise and, and uh, exacting finish to it. So Trova Go is one ninety nine retail, and it's available on our website at Trova Official T R O V A Official O F F I C I A L dot com. Trova Go Plus is two twenty nine on our website, and then Trova Home is uh, five hundred and forty nine. What does the Plus do that the Go doesn't? The difference between the Go and the Go Plus is just interior capacity. They're both meant to be carried with you in your hand and fit pretty easily. The Trova Go Plus has 60% more interior capacity. Uh, it looks like a headphone jack. Uh, what is that little button? Uh, so this is the, the button here is the multifunction button. It's an LED that'll tell you battery status as well as pairing status. Uh, and then it turns it on and off. And actually if you, uh, uh, Put the app into app bypass mode a double click of this will also unlock the box without having to go through the biometric verification and then on the other end you have the battery port uh, for charging and then you have a little antenna for the bluetooth connection how long is the battery life good question so on trova go and trova go plus it depends a little bit based on how often you're opening it that's the biggest draw on the uh on the battery but it lasts about a month um, on regular opening, sort of once a day or something like that. Uh, maybe, maybe longer than that. Uh, I think it, it from complete cycles when we do our cycle tests, it's in the thousands before the battery dies. Um, a standby, it's uh, about three months of just sitting there before it'll die. And then uh, if it's out of power, you just need to connect the power bank or connect the power and then it, it reconnects, right? Yeah, USB-C plug here. Um, you can't use your... Uh, laptop charger that would give it too much power so it actually automatically doesn't allow it to charge when you hit it with too much power so it needs to be a you know 20 watt USB-C um, like what you'd get with your iPhone um, and it will need to charge up we don't have the power doesn't bypass the battery for opening so if it's being charged the battery has to charge up enough to be able to turn on and then unlock so you know a couple of minutes of charging and it'll be ready to be unlocked. Do you do any partnerships with like Swiss watchmakers or some kind of thing like that where they bundle it with a new Rolex? Yeah, I'd love to. If you know, if you know all the right people over there, make, make oh. the introduction and we'll do something with them. They'll be watching this video. So then Great. they can, uh, uh, where are you based? Uh, we are based in Colorado. All right. So thanks a lot for this demo here, the CES 2021. Thank and, you for listening. All right. Have a good thanks. day. Thanks.